I recently made a video looking at the Creality K1, and in that video I had pointed out the inconvenient location of the very basic spool holder at the back of the printer. It creates quite a bit of friction, especially for a high-speed printer, and the location at the back of the printer means that it's much deeper. So I thought I could do better, and this is what prompted me to design the Spool Stand X. This is a freestanding low friction spool holder that can be located on the side of a machine or even on the top of a machine to save valuable table space. Now we demonstrated it on the K1, but you can use it on any printer of your choice. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble it. The Spool Stand X comes with these pieces on the right hand side and the Super Deluxe spool holder comes with these pieces on the left hand side. And the reason that they're sold separately is that you can optionally put a regular Creality twist lock spool holder in the Spool Stand X, although it's not recommended. But ultimately, the choice is yours. We'll start the assembly by grabbing the V bracket, and you'll notice that there are two receptacles in the top of the V bracket. And then we have these braces, and on the braces, you'll find a letter T indicating top. The top should be facing up. The braces will snap fit into these receptacles. And again, you're going to make sure that T is facing up when snapping them into the bottom V bracket. There's two of these braces and they will require a little bit of force to get them to snap fit into place. When you're done with this first step, your assembly should look something like this. And again, just make sure that T is facing up. Then we can take our larger X bracket and you'll notice that it also has two receptacles on the front side. The X bracket and the V bracket will slot together and because of the different size features on the bottom, you can only put it in one way. You'll press them together in this direction here and the braces should line up with the receptacles on the X bracket and those will also snap into place. At the back of the stand, you'll find four countersunk holes and these will accept the four M4 by 20 flathead thread forming screws that are included with the kit. These special screws will cut their own threads into the plastic, so you'll just use a regular screwdriver and apply a reasonable amount of force to drive those screws into the bracket. Complete all four of them and your assembly should look like this. Now we can mount our spool holder, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, it uses the exact same geometry as the Creality Twist Lock Spool Holders. The locking tabs in the spool stand will engage with these grooves in the spool holder, and we're going to be using this flexible TPU washer to sit between the stand and the spool holder. You can start by twisting the spool holder into place by hand, and you'll be grabbing the base of the spool holder to do that, and if you have superhuman grip strength, you may be able to do it just with your fingers, but if not, there is an included spanner wrench. The spanner wrench will help you get those last few degrees of turn, and then you can just simply remove it. The opposing cone features on the Super Deluxe spool holder allow you to fit spools of one kilogram size from more or less any manufacturer that I've come across so far. There's a bonus feature located at the bottom front of the spool stand X, that you can download and print the parts for yourself. And the reason it's not included in the kit is that it is very rarely, if ever actually needed, but it's there just in case. If required, you can print these parts yourself. And there's this dovetail slot at the bottom that accepts this adjustable mount. The slotted mount is for this print in place wheel that has this key like feature on it. And that's gonna go into the slot. For this completely optional feature, you will also need to get yourself an M4 by 25 hex head bolt, as well as an M4 wing nut. The bolt and wheel get inserted onto this side of the mount and the wing nut goes on the front. Now this is going to allow you to adjust this support wheel forwards and backwards, as well as up and down once you loosen off the wing nut. How this works will become more clear once we get a spool on there. So we're going to take one of these eSun twist blade reusable master spools that are also available on my website, which are intended to be used with the eSun refillable filament spools. We're going to mount it to the super deluxe spool holder. And then you can see the lip support at the bottom can be adjusted to support the edge of the spool. Now, just to reiterate, this is not something you should ever have to use. 
it's there just in case some filament company releases some unusually dense filament where a typical spool size ends up heavier than one kilogram. Up at the top of the spool stand X is where we can mount our accessories, and this one is a PTFE tube guide. It sits on a ball joint so the filament can maintain a very natural path, and these accessories mount to the top two receptacles, and you can put it on either side so your filament can exit to the left or to the right. It's completely up to you. As the name would suggest, the PTFE tube guide holds a PTFE tube. You can push your tube into the collet and then lock it in place with the retaining clip. Then you can operate your spool stand in this upright orientation, or you can lay it on the side where you would commonly use it like this on the top of a printer with an enclosure. Printer enclosures usually have plastic lids, and so the back of the spool stand has anti-slip rubber feet to keep the whole thing from moving around when sitting on a plastic lid. Another available optional accessory is the Creality filament runout sensor mount. It's available in a two-hole and four-hole configuration, so it covers both types of Creality filament runout sensors. This would allow you to relocate your filament sensor directly onto the spool stand and potentially give you a more favorable filament path depending on your application. And depending on your application, the only thing you might need to do is get your own JST 3-pin extension cable to relocate your sensor. And if you don't have a Creality printer, you can head on over to my printables page, link in the video description down below, where you'll find the 3D file for a blank accessory mount. You can make it fit any filament runout sensor that you want, or come up with a completely new application, such as a tool holder, perhaps for your filament side cutters. I'd love to see what some of you guys come up with. So that's it for the Spool Stand X, and just remember that this does work for more than just Creality printers, as seen here. Thank you guys for watching right to the end. Please consider subscribing to my channel as well as visiting my website embracemaking.com to help support my work.